It's Packers Lions Monday Night Football. We're going to give you the breakdown and our best bet of the night. And it all starts right now. Hey guys, it's Matt from GrandstandBetters.com. Thanks for joining us here on our YouTube channel. We're coming off a great winner last week on our Monday Night Football pick. This week we look at the NFC North Divisional matchup between the Packers and Lions. Before we get into our breakdown though, just a quick reminder, if you're new to Grandstand Betters, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our free picks or free predictions all season long. While you're at it, smash that like button for last week's Monday Night Football winner. We're 1-0 on Monday Night Football this season. We'll try to go 2-0. And without further ado, let's dive in to Monday Night Football, the Lions-Packers game in Lambeau. The Packers are favored by 11.5, and, and the over-under for this game is set at 48.5. The Lions come into this game after looking like a Jekyll and Hyde football team last week against the 49ers, eventually losing that game 41-33. Now at halftime uh, last week, they were losing 31-10, to but then they did outscore the 49ers 23-10 to in the second half. Uh, actually making it quite interesting down the stretch, even uh, making those uh, minus 7.5, 49 backers probably have to sweat a little until that final whistle uh, where they collected onside kicks and a couple touchdowns in the final two minutes. Um, but really, the story of the game, let's talk about Goff, 38 of 57, 338 yards with three touchdowns and an INT last week. We assume the Lions would prefer for him not to throw that much. Uh, but when you're down three scores early, that's all you can do to get back in the game. TJ Hawkinson was his favorite target out of the wide receiver core. However, he used everyone on the field. He targeted 10 different receivers, and he really utilized Swift and Williams out of the backfield. Those guys combined for 16 catches, 121 yards, and a touchdown. And speaking of those two uh, and the rushing game of the Lions, Jamal Williams, he did have the better day rushing. Six yards per carry, while Swift only averaged 3.5. But as we mentioned, the running game was really non-existent with being down so much. Look for the Lions to really establish this week those two early. As a Packers defense who they're playing this week gave up 170 yards rushing last week uh, to the Saints. Now, on the defensive side of the ball, the Lions are awful. They give up 442 yards over 55 plays ran for the 49ers. Think about that. Goff himself had 57 passes thrown. The 49ers, they only ran uh, 55 total plays and they scored 41 points on them. So that's pretty bad defense. Garoppolo against the Lions defense, he was 17 to 25 for 314 yards and a TD with Debo Samuel catching nine of those passes for 189 yards and a touchdown. Eli Mitchell actually did a great job out of the backfield. He ran 19 times for over 100 yards and a TD as well. In short, Lions defense awful, and unfortunately they have to face probably a very embarrassed and out to prove something Aaron Rodgers. Now speaking of Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers, they're coming off a horrendous game against the New Orleans Saints, losing 38-3 with that game being actually played in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, we're not going to harp on how bad Aaron Rodgers actually was in that game because it's been done for the last week, but just a quick recap of his stats. He was 15 to 28 for 133 yards and two INTs, was eventually replaced by Jordan Love. Now, these guys uh, were trying anything and everything to get something going. They targeted 10 receivers, and Devontae Adams led the team, get this, with 56 receiving yards on five catches. The rushing game uh, was, you think, probably even worse than the passing game. They only had 15 rushes for 43 yards. Uh, most, if not all of you, would say that things can't get any worse this week. If you look, though, really at that 38-3 scoreline, you may think their defense was awful, but in all honesty, they only gave up 322 total yards. If anything was not good, it definitely was that uh, rush defense that we alluded to, as they gave up over 170 yards rushing on the ground. Yes, Jameis Winston threw for five touchdowns, but it was only 148 yards passing, the Packers continued just to give the Saints a short field, really never gave their defense the opportunity to get in rhythm and keep them from staying out of the end zone. So don't look too much into that Jameis Winston line, the five touchdowns. I would look more at the 148 yards. 
in week one, you really kind of look and see, okay, how am I going to get a handle on this team? Uh, but these two teams can give us any opportunity to see if their team's good or bad. Uh, I don't really think you could take much away from both teams moving into week number two. The Lions, they looked at times like they could move the ball decently uh, against a good defensive team, uh, the 49ers. Uh, now, yes, it was a lot of garbage time, but Goff, he's still a good quarterback that can put up numbers. But the Lions defense, if you want to take one thing away from that game, the Lions defense is awful. They're just absolutely awful. Now, both these teams should probably be able to go up and down the field, Green Bay more so than not. But the Packers showed us absolutely nothing last week. We can't take anything away from their game against the Saints. The only thing you can really do as a sports better with the Packers is relax and trust that Aaron Rodgers will bounce back this week. And he knows how to. Rodgers, the last two times he's thrown for less than 200 yards in a game. Do you know what he did the following two performances after those? He has a combined eight touchdowns and both performances were double-digit wins for the Packers. So, relax, betters. Now, out of the two teams who have both started the season 0-1, we have much more confidence Aaron Rodgers is going to bounce back. But that minus 11.5 point spread is a little too high to trust given last week's results from both teams. So, instead of looking at the full game over or even looking at the over-under, we're actually going to look at a team total here. Given the historical trend of Rodgers after an awful outing, and the defense we saw in the Lions last week, our best bet for Monday night is going to be Packers team total over 30.5 points. Grandstand bettors will actually be doing a live play-by-play -play and live betting. Watch along for the Monday night football game between the Lions and Packers right here on YouTube. So join us Monday night at 8:10 Eastern and come join us for some fun and some betting. But guys, as always, sit back. Relax, enjoy Monday Night Football, and we'll see you next time.